I, this is out of character. Uh, I can't re currently remember where the island or what that they were saying was called again. That where they were going. You have Sharif's journal. Christmas Island. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, actually, who is going to the Christmas Sharif journal? I thought it was Peaches. Probably. Yeah, I read it. I read it aloud for everyone for the yeah. uh, recording. Okay. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, to the Christmas Islands. Christmas Island. I'm supposed to go there tomorrow. Well, you're I'm leaving early. early. <laughs> <laughs> you guys can't hear this. You guys aren't there. I'm just kidding. I'm just making commentary. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, I was actually going to say, well, we're, well, we want to go now. Well, but who are you with? Uh, it's like I can take a look out out the window, and it's like a strange group. <laughs> he goes and looks out the window, I trying to follow your gaze. And uh, he does not see Thuban because the door is in the way. Um, and he does not see Mo, and he does not see Peaches, but he sees Dogfight on top of the aircraft, and he is up on his feet, and he draws his pistol, and he shoots through the window at Dogfight. He's not going to hit because he's seen two of Dogfight, but... <laughs> he's... He starts blasting away. Yeah, um, so uh, Thuban, Mo, and Peaches, you all hear uh, this uh, uh, Mauser pistol go off. The window breaks, and uh, and and uh, a bullet, you know, finds itself in this part of a wall. And uh, dogfight, you are your action was already done, so you are are basically just getting done with the lock. When this bullet was that was both of my that, that was both my actions. Uh, yes. Okay, cool. I'm good. I'm used yes. to being shot at. <laughs> <laughs> I just look at him and was like, "Were you trying to shoot the plane?" <laughs> um. When you ask him that, he actually takes a swing at you. And I, I, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and, I'm actually gonna try and hit you. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay. So let's see. Uh, uh, unarmed combat. Who knew that the Gaunt Man old rule owned Rule Twenty this whole time? Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh! Are you kidding me? Okay. It's weird. It's a buffer. It's axiom. What's your? Uh... Hey, wait a minute. Hey, hey, wait a minute. Quick question. No, wait. Oh, that was last turn. What is the approved actions for this round? Uh, there are no approved actions for this round. Okay, we're not in. A... Yeah, you're out. Okay, we're out of combat. Okay. Yeah. All right. Cool. Okay. Now, Chris, what is your unarmed defense? It is. 13. Wait, no. 10. It's 10? Okay, he hits you. Yeah. But he uh, he isn't going to, uh, you know, get much done. It'll probably end up being too shock. And, and mind you, I applied a penalty to him for doing that. So let's see. Uh, strength, no modifier. Okay. So let's see. The result was a 10. What's your toughness? Uh, let's see. Without armor. Because he's he's knocking you in the jaw. But toughness... It says it's 11, but I'm not sure if that's adding the armor or not. Well, Let's hey, see. hang on. It, it, uh, if you've got seven. armor, it will. Oh, yeah, uh, it's seven. Okay, it's seven. Okay, so 
Um, yeah, you're going to take two shock off of that. And he knocks you back just a little bit against the doors that are at your right shoulder. And he's like, you're not taking my airplane. And he goes to rush out of the office past you. Now, you have an opportunity to hit him and he'll have a penalty of two. So, actually, you'll have a bonus of two to basically uh, hit him if you want to. I kind of said, I mean, you can fly the plane, you know, fly us there if you want. He stops in mid-stride. He turns around and he says, what? It's like, if you don't want us to take your plane, just fly us there. Really? Yes! Simple as that! His, his eyes are kind of wandering around. He's looking around the work room. He's looking at his maps on the table and the map case that's there. Um, and he kind of, he, he rubs his chin. And he's like, I can get away from Mobius. I can, I can get away from this whole thing. Really? Yes. You're going to um, take a door through a reality storm. Don't worry about it. Um, but I fly <laughs> yeah. all the time. Um, okay, so he 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 turns around and goes back around the desk, and he grabs um, some kind of a little case. He he throws it on over his shoulders, and, and I mean this case is only like six inches by eight inches. Um, uh, he he holsters his pistol and grab starts grabbing maps. He says, "Help me, you fool!" I start helping. Okay, grab all these maps. We have to go. I kind of shout through the, you know, shout to the guys, I got ourselves a pilot! And he, uh... You already had yourself a pilot! But then he stops... Two of them. He stops right where he is, and he's got this horrified look on his face, and he's like, Oh, what the hell did I just see? And he uh, slowly comes back out from behind the desk, and... <laughs> And comes out here. And Suban, you have an audience staring wide eyed and mouth agape. Hello, I'm a mighty sorcerer. I'm a friend. Probably should have led with the first one. <laughs> and he, uh, he's, he's just kind of shocked and in fear. You can see that his eyes are very wide, his, his mouth is dropping down. He's heard your words because his face twitches. And, and I put my hand on his shoulder and say, I told you, weird group. <laughs> he turns back around to you, Storm Knights? Yep. It's like I'm holding maps. Wait a minute. Like, can, you, can you get me to the Delphi Council? Uh, I believe yeah. so. If when someone asks you if you're a god, you, you say, say yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, so he, you know, he's like, he looks back over his left shoulder at Thuban, and uh, and then he's like, oh, okay, okay, we, I, you're probably on the run. We need to get moving. And he starts running around here, okay. <laughs> Can't Gosh. believe that worked. <laughs> What? The gunfire didn't clue him in. <laughs> he was out cold. He was he yeah, he was, he was on a drunk. So I don't yeah. know if you've ever been around anybody that's been drunk before. They have a tendency to sleep quickly and a lot. I don't know Sounds about that, right. but whatever. <laughs> Depends on the drunk. Okay, so he goes to crawl on the wing, uh, and he's... He actually, let's see. He gets about this far, and he sees Mo in the water, and he's like, "What the? <laughs> uh, oh no!" All, all, right. he see, all, all he sees, he sees, all he sees is the helmet. A really tall, the Rocket helmet. Ranger helmet. He's like, "Oh yes, protection!" And he goes around, and he he runs, uh, and and he sees Penny there, and he's like. Oh, Mademoiselle. Thank God, a normal one. <laughs> he salutes him with her axe. 
<laughs> um, so, okay, so by this time, everybody's kind of making their way to the airplane. And he climbs up on the wing, and, and after uh, Peaches and Chris are able to get up there, um, uh, he, he actually runs to the, uh, the maintenance hatch on top to meet Dogfight inside, and he says, are you also from the Delphi Council? My good man, I am Dogfight, the human uh, biplane. I am with the Mystery Man. Of course we're with the Delphi Council. I read a report about you day before yesterday. That's so weird. And he goes and sits in the in the uh, in the pilot seat, uh, which is actually the right hand seat, not the left hand. Um, and he uh, uh, sits down and he starts flicking switches and stuff like that. Uh, he misses one or two. It takes him a couple of times to get in there. But uh, you hear the power come on and you hear the radios burst to life in the back and everything like that. And he goes to, to uh, climb back out of the maintenance hatch. And uh, once Peaches and Chris are on board, and Chris, there was no ladder on that side. Um over well, I can here. float myself up. Yeah. So that's fine. Yeah, too. I that take works. it where oh, now. Yeah, and he, he pulls the ladder up and uh, secures it to the side of the aircraft, right behind the uh, uh, right behind the side entrance hatch. Mo, yeah. you you managed to squeeze in there, but Thuban's gonna have a problem. Uh, does anybody want to open the hangar doors? No, the hangar doors the are, hangar are, door. are rusted open. You're you're oh, at yeah. the, you're at a seaside. The, oh, okay. the how how was the how were people not like coming around the outside and shooting at us? Um, because there is the water? if you scroll down a little bit, you're gonna see there's a fence here. There's a fence and a tower oh. here. The only way that these two can get to you is by running through this open space and then up here, and they can get in these doors if they know about it. Uh, let's see, there's a fence here, there's a fence here, along with the tower, and then there's an opening here, okay? So these guys, the dog and the dog handler can't get out there just yet because they only move two spaces around um, if they're walking. If they're running, they can only move, I think it's four, maybe five. And then these guys are running up, but they can't get into these doors because they've already been secured by Penny. I, I was actually talking about like being in the water and shooting at us, but that's, that's okay. What I'm no worries. Saying. There's nobody here that can get to you right now. The one guy that could, this guy right here, did come in that way, but none of the rest of these guys can because there's a huge fence all around the base. Okay. So I designed it very purposefully. Okay, so let's kind of <laughs> get let's kind of get everybody but Thuban on the aircraft. Okay. Am I just gonna be strapped to the outside? No, um, but you're going to have to go into the same uh, – actually, yeah, you're going to have to go into the same door that, uh, that Mo went into. Um, hmm, hang on a second. I'm just going to try and deflate myself as much as possible and squeeze into any open corner. Oh, okay. come on. Just fit in here. Pull, pull, pull. Hold on. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying. That, I'm trying, fine. sir, Mo. Okay, guys. That's fine. But keep this in mind. Uh, you hear the the uh, Frenchman's voice. Nobody's asked him what his name is yet. So you hear the Frenchman's voice come from this area right here on the plane. Okay? And there is a huge bubble that he has opened. And he says, come on. Get in here. So you can literally, Thuban, fly right over here and get inside. And it's actually, it's a little bit of a tight squeeze because there's a 7.62 millimeter machine gun right there. 
Well, yeah, you know, that kind of thing happens. Yeah. Okay. So, um, let's see. The aircraft that you are in, and let's see, I'm going to have to kind of, I'm going to transport everybody to a different map. So, control C. And yes, by the way, um, there are uh, plenty of, no, that's not going to work. I need to transport you to this one. Okay, so, um, paste. Okay, now I need to move everybody over. So, players. All right, does everybody see the new map? Yes, I yeah. do. A uh, plane map. Yes. Yep. yes. This is okay. This lower <laughs> graphic right here is is basically going to represent how things are being done. Okay. So, uh, no, that's dogfight. I need I need Jacques. Okay. So Jacques is in the right seat. Uh, I need to zoom in here. Oh, control zoom. There we go. My goodness gracious, it's actually working. Okay. So. <laughs> so dogfight did you want to be in the right hand seat or of course seat, I mean he, he's, he's lucky I'm letting him have the plane but that's okay I ain't gonna <laughs> <give you that. laughs> okay I bet Chris wanted to push the buttons too okay so let's see we've got we've got a seat here we've got a seat here uh, let's see. This is a seat, I think. Yeah, that's a seat right there. So, um, Thuban, you're probably going to be kind of SOL. Now, there's two long cots back here. Okay, everybody see where I'm pointing at? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Uh, both of those cots seem to be packed up right now with all kinds of boxes and stuff. All right. So okay. we'll, we'll get to that a little bit later. Now, from this point towards the outboard of the aircraft, and from this point towards the outboard of the aircraft, you have landing gear. So you guys place yourself in the aircraft where you want to be. Uh, there's two machine guns back here, like I said. And there's one more machine gun back here. Cool. Does that mean we'll, have, we'll need gunners? You probably you might need gunners, especially trying to get out of, of where you're at. Now, quick question to the GM. I know that I do not have typical eyesight. I see through vibrations or some such. Uh -huh. Does that mean I'll be effectively blind when I'm in the air? No, it shouldn't. Um, you okay, you good. It's so, kind of like normal. So okay, so I'm going to see if I can find a window and just kind of look out of it because if I see any other pursuing Fuban doesn't have the word for flight units so any other enemies let's say okay. I would like to try and curse them from a nearby window well you've got these are two bubble windows back here where I'm I'm having my circles go so you I see. Should, yeah that's where you came in at I guess I will position myself just plaster myself up nearby one of the windows. Okay. okay well, right. uh, we need a gunner. Well, uh, I, I, I was going up forward, but then I'm like, look, look, Chris, there's gun, gun uh, turrets. We should each take one. Which one do you want? Connor, you're on mute. Uh. You're on mute, dude. I I'm here. I'm here. Oh, okay, good. So I, I tell him that we needed we need to take uh the guns. Which one do you want? You take uh, one, I'll take the other. Why do I have to be one of the ones taking a gun? Because you have well you, I, I've seen you you know how to shoot a gun. Hey, uh okay, hang on a second. Uh we're we're getting kinda out of range here. Um this map is not the map we're working on right now. 
Okay, I'm, I'm having you placed here uh, so that you can kind of understand the, the interior of the craft itself. But this is, it, the, the map that we're going to be on uh, is not this one right now. Okay, so okay. what that's going to do is that is going to close out the scene, the, the previous scene, but not the act, not yet. Um, so what I need to do... See, this is another thing. I've got these page setting things up here, and I, I don't know how to get rid of them. I can't get rid of them. They're just there. And I didn't hit page settings for anything. So, um, here's what we need to do. Completion. All right, ending a scene. And we're going to end for tonight as well. But uh, all players shuffled, shuffled their pools back into their hands, if necessary. Um, let's see. None of you have a hand of four or less. Five, considering, uh... Yeah, so you need to, you need to discard down to four. Then I'm gonna... Are we... Then I'm gonna play this for a possibility. Uh, okay. Hold on. Let me get that out front. Oh, okay. I see how it is. So... I wanted to play that... Um, Discard I, I could, for a possibility and draw a new card. So add a possibility. Yeah. And but I don't I think I would extend my hand. So I either need to play it or get the possibility from it, but I don't need to draw. I need to get my hand down to what, five cards? Uh, for you, yeah, five cards. Um, everybody else is four cards. Isn't it five for all of us as long as we're in uh, Nile? Uh, you know what? Um, uh, let's see. Let me get back to where I know I've got. I've really got to find a way to, to transfer around better. Okay. Law of action. Spend a second possibility right after the first roll. Another d20. Rapid scenes. Lots of obstacles. Destiny card hand size increased to five. So, Ginger, you can keep six. Everybody else keeps five. Oh, I don't. I don't get an extra card. I just get to put one in my pool. Uh, who was it that gets the extra card? I don't know. Did someone glory recently? Uh, no, no. Uh, we're in the, the Nile Empire, and everybody's hand size increases to five. Okay. Right. Yeah. Um. I could swear somebody had like Prodigy or something like that, and That's plus one possibilities. Oh, okay. Plus one possibility. One possibility is reset. So situational yeah. awareness is play card uh, negate. Okay. All right. Never mind. So you get five cards. Uh, anybody with less than five cards gets a card. So that's Josh and Robert. So hang on. I've got to get back to my cards. All right. Deal one each two. And all right. Okay. Now you get to discard one card that you don't like. If you have a card that you really don't like, you get to discard it, uh, but only one. I don't need two adrenaline cards, so I'm going to take advantage of that. Okay. I don't need two leadership cards, so I'll take advantage of that. Okay, so that is uh, Connor and who else? Me. And me. I'll get rid of the well, alertness. Me? Okay, uh, hold on. Andrew. Andrew and? Andrew, Connor, and, 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 and oh, Dogfight. No. No. I didn't say I was getting rid of one yet. Well, if you're not getting rid of one yet, you're not getting rid of one at all. <laughs> so, no, I, I, I'm not the one who said I was getting rid of a card. I hadn't decided yet. And I don't need two of these, so I will I will hope for a better selection. How many glories does everybody have? I have one. I have one. Uh, if you have one, I'll, I'll get rid of my glory and... And, and take another draw too. Uh, we don't uh, need but one. 
No, we're to the part where you can discard one card. Oh, oh, I and thought it was as many as you like. Sorry. No, 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 no. One. Uno. Okay, so then I'm dealing one each. To... Um, no, I'm, you can give me one. I'm going to get rid of this Delphi support card that I have. So it's one to everybody. Yeah. Okay, so... Uh, okay. Oh, it's Captain now. Captain Gonzalez. Um, and then Dogfight. And... Oh, if I can type, that would be good. Okay, so each of you should have up to five cards back. And I'll go and get rid of these. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's what you get. So, um... When we return to play next week, um, uh, we will go ahead and get into scene three. And the engines are running, and the aircraft is pulling forward, and there's nobody in your way right now. But you destroyed probably about half of the personnel on that base. Um, uh, about a third. <laughs> we'll call it about a third. And next week, I will have... Oh, uh, man, we could have done better. Next week, I will have everybody uh, on the map that I need them to be on so that we can get things moving. Actually, you know what? I'll leave it here for now. That'll work. Well, to quote the uh, modern classic Sonic Forces, none of this is good, Vector. That's why it's called war. Uh-huh. <laughs> Said from an echidna to a crocodile. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Is there anything else any of you need to take care of tonight? Any questions or anything like that? Mm, no, I'm good. Uh, not until we reach the end of the act, in which case I will have questions for spell design. Uh, oh, spell design? Yeah, I'm going to take the uh, spell researcher perk when I can. Oh, okay. Um, hmm. You may not be able to use that for the rest of the adventure. So just you'll, uh, you'll have it, but you may not be able to use it for the rest of the adventure because things are going to happen quick. Maybe I'll go with maybe I'll go with esoteric spell instead. Then, well, maybe okay, but make sure that it's not going to interfere with anything else. Um, okay, okay. So uh, I just want to address real quick. I got our, our inaugural episode from January 11th uh, posted. Do you want to post it in the Discord so we can see? Um, the problem yeah, is I, I, I posted it for the original three players that were there, and then it goes live on Monday. Once it goes live, I will post it to, to the entire group. But the videos are going to come kind of slow because I'm learning how to do all of this stuff from scratch. This is college-level work, kids. So, I mean, I'm having to I'm, – I'm really having to scrape – All right, so it's time to close out the evening. Where will our intrepid explorers go next? What will be their fate? How will they survive? Come and find out on our next exciting episode of Torg Eternity. <laughs>